Saying prayers is the only thing Uthman bin Amara can do now for his late son. Mudaffar is buried here along with other victims of a January attack on a military academy in Tripoli. 32 cadets were killed in the airstrike launched by forces loyal to the warlord Khalifa Haftar. Uthman says his son, who had just turned 19 before the attack, had an ambition to become a pilot and had many hobbies, including horse riding. My family's life has become so difficult. We've lost happiness and interest in life after we lost our son. We will not rest until Haftar and his backers are brought to international justice. One year since Haftar launched his military campaign to take control of Tripoli from the UN recognized government, his offensive has failed to achieve its goals. International mediation has failed to end the conflict, including a recent call on the warring parties to embrace a truce to allow the country to tackle COVID-19. Many parts of southern Tripoli have been deserted, and more than 150,000 people have been displaced by the fighting. The United Nations estimates Haftar's forces have launched more than a thousand airstrikes since the beginning of their offensive last year. Residential areas and state facilities have been targeted, along with airports and migrant detention centers. Tripoli's UN recognized government blames Egypt and the United Arab Emirates, which support Haftar, for the hundreds of civilian deaths. More than a dozen medical workers have been killed in drone attacks on field hospitals. And in July, 53 migrants were killed by airstrikes. The Tripoli-based government accuses Egyptian and UAE warplanes of carrying out the attacks. If Haftar's forces advance more inside residential areas, war crimes and crimes against humanity will be committed by his multinational mercenaries. Libyans cannot stop this war, but the regional and international players can. Haftar is also supported by Russia and politically by France, while the internationally recognized government in Tripoli has military support from Turkey. As this conflict goes on, there is a sense those responsible for killing civilians won't be held to account. Victims' families like Uthman are likely to wait for a long time to get justice if they get it at all. Mahmoud Abdul Wahid, Al Jazeera, Tripoli.